What's up guys, it's Cameron, and you guys have been asking me, you guys have been asking me forever, cover Auto DS. And I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do it. And then, and then I, I had a call with the guys from Auto DS, and I'm gonna go ahead and make a video for you. Now, I've had a chance to use it, and if I'm being completely honest, I really like how simple it is. I haven't been using it very long, but enough for me to get the gist of how the understanding works. So on my call with them, I was able to ask some questions, get some pointers on how it works and what to look forward to, some things they suggest that I do. And I'm about to hop in my computer and just give you some of my first reaction of when I started my account and how to use it. So follow them along with me and see if you like it. All right, so one thing I love about getting started with AutoDS, like if you're a brand new person like me, is that you get started and you get logged in and here's what it looks like when you get started. It whites everything out and it has a very clear welcome message and where to start, where to click. So when you click that, it says add your first Facebook store and you can start selling on Facebook shops or marketplace and I love that. Continue. Add your first Facebook store. So of course our marketplace accounts don't have store names, they're just our personal accounts. I'm assuming that this is just me naming it for the sake of setting it up within the AutoDS platform. So I'm just gonna call it Cameron's Marketplace at store. All right, now that you have your store connected, what's cool is that you have to get the Marketplace Dropshipping Helper extension, which is in the Chrome store. I'll go ahead and link that in the description here. But when you click that, now that it's linked, you have a drop-down menu for your store. So there's the Cameron Marketplace that I just that I just set up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. And now we have the syncing range. So for those of you who don't know, this, um, from what I understand, is not your typical, like it syncs every hour or whatever, like what we see from other softwares. This is actually how far back you want it to sync. So when it does, do you want it to go back seven days? Do you want it to look at all your products within your AutoDS store? So it, it's kind of like, a, oh, I only want it to really sync everything I've listed today. Well, you do the last 24 hours or if you do it once a week or whatever, like you, it just, or it's just a very simple all products, like I said. I'm gonna keep it to 24 hours. I don't even have anything in the store yet. So, um, let's see. All products are up to date. Easy, because I don't have any products. Another thing, just in the AutoDS website itself, when you're in your account, one thing that I love is that there is a to-do list, like what you do, with, like any typical, like fully fledged system that you get, like, you know, if you've ever set up an account with like a really nice website or whatever, um, there's like a one out of seven completed. So it knows I've connected stuff. Now it's given me a video example of how to select my first products. Chances are you already know how to find products, but we'll go over how to use some of the extension in the future. But it, you know, and then it says publish your draft. It, it, it's going through all these things to get you there. And the last one is rate. So really there's only like seven. Yeah, or, or not even six. You know what? It's really only like four or five because these are all just like helpful things. They're not really necessarily like must do's. I need to confirm my email address. That's always a given. And then there's a bunch of videos and they love how they have them separated by Shopify Marketplace. So you can really go through and see how to use their platform very easily. Like on the home page, the tutorials are right there. Love how the layout is, it's really nice. All right, back to the tool. So if you, if, if you click on logs, what it does is it tells you basically every move that this extension has made, you can literally see everything that it's done and what it's done. So, and who's doing it. Um, I have a different account that I've seen it do like AutoDS and I'll say Facebook and things like that. Like it tells you the dates and timestamps, everything. So that's pretty cool. You can download the logs or clear them if you wanted to, for some reason, keep them for, for some reason. I'm sure there's a value for that, but I just don't understand it yet. But, um, oh, back into the extension. What I like too is that because one of the main things that these softwares are gonna be good for is tracking pricing for you, right? It's going to be something like if you had something listed, right? And then you wanted it to track that price because, you know, tomorrow it might change price from wherever you're buying it from, but then somebody on your marketplace might purchase it. Well, if it lowered in price or raised in price, you want your price on Facebook to reflect that. 
So if you click on this little wheel icon, the cog, the settings thing, you know what it is. You can change every hour, three hours, 12 hours, or 24 hours, or if you never want it to sync, you don't have to have it sync. So I usually like mine to sync every one to three hours. So, I mean, I just like mine to be as up to date as possible. I'm gonna leave mine as one hour. And then don't be confused because this is the sync range for getting it ready. My actual settings for updating is one hour. So that's where we're at with the updating and syncing. I think that's pretty cool. All right, so now we're gonna go into actually listing or uploading a product to your AutoDS platform or your, your account basically. Last I heard they have over 25 online retailers that you can use their platform on, which is pretty cool. I'm just, you know me, I'm gonna go to Amazon and we're gonna get this thing going. Let's just see for the sake of this, let's type in something random in funny lawn chair, boom. Love it, this stupid unicorn lawn chair. Let's, oh, you know what? I like this actually, with this little tent thing. Let's click on it, let's get this going. All right, so now that we have this product, um, for AutoDS, you need to go up here into your URL and copy it. And then you need to go in here, back to your account and hit add products. And we're gonna do a single product for now. You can do multiple, which is pretty cool if you wanna just find a bunch and then do it. But you're gonna enter in your product URL and you can edit it if you want, or you can just straight publish it. So let's hit edit real quick. I just wanna to go to the description and right here, look, the descriptions are actually pretty clean compared to some of the other things. Like I, I like that it, it actually looks organized already. It's none of that where it like jumbles it all together and you have to like go through and enter everything and then correct everything. Like it's just, this already looks clean. And then images, you can go in here per use and go and swap images and stuff like that, delete stuff. And what's kind of cool is that they already have some cropping features in here. And you can download stuff if you wanted to like, just download it from here and then change it for some reason. I like that you can set this as a main image. Like if instead, if you don't feel like being the person to drag it like I am or whatever, boom, set as main image. And then it highlights this as main image. Is that even how that works? Am I stupid for thinking that? No, okay, cool. So you can just set one as a main image, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna hit edit and see what our options are just so you guys can see. Look at this. You can actually come in here and crop something, make it a square. That's pretty cool, because then you have more control over what that image is gonna look like. Boom, all right, I'm gonna hit save. And it says, it has been updated, cool. I imagine then it's gonna be in this draft that says one. If I go to Facebook, now that this is in my cool account, if I go to Facebook and then go to list an item for sale, this thing pops up and it's a little drop down. So I imagine if I had multiple things, I can just hit paste info from AutoDS. Boom, it's got my tags going. It is slowly sinking in all of this stuff. And it's beautiful, it's beautiful. And there's that cropped image we were messing with earlier. So how cool is that? Okay, so we've got our stuff pasted. I should have edited my title in AutoDS. It would have just made it so much more easier. We've got this item that's $75, but AutoDS, I haven't even messed with profit margins yet, and it already gave me a profit margin to list that. Pretty damn cool. And that profit margin, if you notice, if you go back to your account, go to settings, there is a pricing tab in here under store settings, and then you've got where you can just type in random, like whatever you want, whatever your thing is, and it gives you a little example up here of what that actual cost will be. So if you need to account for fees and stuff like that, boom, total total price. So that's pretty sweet. I like that you can just come in here and set that. It seems really easy. I know these things can seem hard after a while, but this one seems pretty simple. One thing that I do wanna mention, we were talking about the descriptions earlier. It, you'll notice in here, those little dots aren't there anymore, which I guess that makes sense. They're not actual like characters that this is going to recognize. So, the best thing to do in here is to just, if you want it to be, I, th I think this is good enough, but it, you know, cause previously on certain like other stuff, you'd, you'd have it look like this. Like it would just like put it as one giant paragraph. At least this kept everything on the, on the edge. It just took out some spacing. So if you really wanted to, you could go in here and hit enter and do that stuff. If you wanted to just like separate it all out, like you just go through, look for those capital letters, and there you go. If you're really picky, you can get rid of that. And then all of a sudden this stuff's pretty clean and organized. 
very straightforward. This is a pretty awesome listing already. And now once this is listed, AutoDS will just automatically update pricing in the event that this $75 price changes. Let's say it goes to $65 or even worse, let's say it goes up to $95 and then my profit margin was just like ruined. AutoDS will readjust the price that it's listed for here on Facebook to match whatever profit margin I wanted. So we would raise the price on Facebook so that I never run into that problem. And that's what that little setting up here is that we were looking at earlier. I want it to check. I want AutoDS to check my Facebook against Amazon every hour to make sure and just check every single hour if this price changes. And if it has, update it on my store so that I don't get screwed. Also, just to mention, I'm not gonna go through it in this video, but they also have that whole copy the address, paste the address when you're fulfilling orders too. So if somebody buys something from you, it's very simple to go in and fulfill your order by copying and pasting the address. All right, now I wanna talk about bulk uploading really quick. The holidays are coming up and, or even if you're watching this way later, any holiday that's about to come up, it's great to just bulk upload a bunch of products around that holiday, whether it's Halloween, Christmas, even if it's just stuff like around fall or Thanksgiving, just starting to get out of like seasons even. Go for it. Bulk uploading is great because you just throw a bunch to see what sticks, like what we talk about. All right, so we're in Amazon. I'm gonna show you a little bit about bulk uploading. What you have to do to bulk upload is you need to go to somewhere like Amazon and you need to have this AutoDS helper extension downloaded as well. There's two extensions. Um, and what you're gonna do is you just like, I'm searching for Halloween lights because things like that are just the best to kind of search for upcoming seasons and holidays. That's what bulk uploading is best for because you just never know what's gonna sell if it hasn't been a regular seller already. So um, go to Amazon. Of course, I'm gonna filter by Prime for me and then I'm gonna filter by five star reviews so that people don't cry about everything. And so we have a good amount of stuff showing up. You just gotta hit this thing right here and then you have to hit extract. You can also export as CSV and then upload it with a CSV file, it's totally cool. I go in here and I just do this little copy paste deal. I'm trying to make sure you're not copy pasting stuff outside of that little extension. And I'll just hit control C. And then I will go into add products, add multiple products. And I'm gonna paste that in here and it's all these little short codes and um, make sure there's no space up here. And then I messed up the first time. This automatically was on AliExpress. So I needed to go in here and change it to Amazon or whatever supplier you got it from. That's what you need to change it to. And then I just hit add as draft. Cool, it says down here, item is being added to draft even though it's items. And then you can see this drafts number going up right here. And if you click on it, you can actually see the action taking place up top. And all these little light drafts have come into my account. And now those are ready to go to my store. So really easy to get a bunch of bulk uploaded items selected in your product section so that you can go and actually post them on your marketplace. Like I said, great for upcoming holidays just to split test and see what's gonna sell. It's, it's great to kind of like search some niche -y little versions of that, like Halloween products. So I, you always, I, mean, I always like to put funny on stuff or you put scary Halloween decorations or family friendly or like find little adjectives to throw in there to kind of just further niche. Cause a lot of people are just gonna type in Halloween into Amazon and then bulk upload that first page and none of them are gonna sell anything most likely. So try to make sure you do that, but like, do a different way of doing it, I guess. Or like Halloween lights, like just type in like one specific thing or Halloween, I don't know, smells. Like just search at that at Amazon and see what pops up. I don't know, maybe you'll get something funny. So that is bulk uploading. That's AutoDS. I hope you had a good time learning AutoDS from me a little bit. This is real basic AutoDS as well. Like this is just for the Facebook side. They've been around and done Amazon and eBay. Like they're, they're long in the game of drop shipping. They just got their Facebook part done. So that now you're now you're good to go on Facebook with Auto DS. And that's one of my favorite things about this Facebook drop shipping stuff. You can have multiple accounts and then you can use multiple softwares and test and see which ones you like. Link in the description, um, discount code for them as well. Feel free to use that. It helps me, it helps you, and I hope you make a bunch of money. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.